and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that she be not partakers of her sins, and that she receive not of her plagues. Don't just walk out, sneak out, make up your mind. Babylon is falling. And Babylon represents the present world system. And the Lord says, by the angel crying from heaven, and the Lord says, by spirit today, and the Lord says, in the world that cries and pierces the heart of every man and every woman, flee, flee out of the midst of Babylon. Christ died for everyone. But you have to make up your mind that as Babylon is falling and falling, that you will come out not only think about it, not only meditate about it, not only plan about it, that you take the step, you come out, you run out, you flee out of the midst of Babylon. Don't copy her. Don't follow her. Don't imbibe their principles. Don't follow their practices that you'll be not caught up in their iniquity. Even after you are saved, even after you have become a child of God to them that believe him. To them he gave power, he gave authority, he gave the right to become the sons of God. Even those who believed on his name, even after we have believed the call is still coming from heaven, come out, flee out, and go out of Babylon. We must keep ourselves separated from Babylon. It tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, and I'm reading from verse 17. Here are the words of the Lord Almighty Himself, as He says, Wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate, says the Lord, and touch not, of course, taste not, of course, don't go along with them. Don't wear what they wear, drink what they drink, uh, attend their parties. Be not part of them. Distinguish yourself as a peculiar person, a purchased person, a purified person, totally distinct and different from Babylon. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And then in verse 18, it says, And I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and my daughters, says the Lord. Almighty, and he that has an ear will hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Revelation chapter 14, I'm reading from verse 4. It says, These are they which are not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These who are redeemed from among men being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. I pray you'll be among the number. Spiritually a virgin, you'll be among the number, perfected and spotless and blameless by the washing of the blood of the Lamb. You'll be among the number in Jesus' name. We must maintain that separation from falling Babylon. And it calls us the call to all believers. And as we come to God and we say, Lord, I want to be totally, completely, distinct, distinctly come out of falling Babylon. And I want to come out of the beastliness of this world. And I want to be in Beulah land in heaven on the final day. And I don't want any hurdle before me, any wall of demarcation before me, any wall of Jericho before me to keep me out. And you say, Lord, whatever it will take, a conversion, a consecration, a cleansing, a purging, a purifying, making holy, Lord, do it for me. He will do it for you. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, he calls you and he calls you by name. And you call him and you call him by name. And as both the divine and the human come together, he'll do in you what will qualify you for Beulah land. Are you ready? Why don't you rise up and say, Lord, here am I. I want it done in my heart.